Think of a call number as an address for a book or DVD. It tells you exactly where to find the item on the shelf in the library. It also indicates the subject matter of an item, which allows you to browse the shelves for other material on similar topics. The call number is normally found on the spine of a book, DVD, or video. Call numbers are read line by line, from left to right, and from top to bottom. Call numbers begin with one, two, or sometimes three letters, which indicate the item's broad subject area. These letters are read alphabetically. For example, K would come before KE on the shelf, and KE would come before KF. The second line in the call number is numerical and further defines the subject of an item. It should be read as a simple number. PR525 would come before PR5258 on the shelf because 525 is a smaller number. The third line should be read alphabetically first. The number following the letter is read as a decimal. This can be confusing. Point B833 will come before point D833 because B comes alphabetically before D. That part's straightforward. However, point B833 will also come before point B84 because the numbers are read as decimals. Point 833 comes numerically before point 84. If there's a fourth line with a letter and a number, read it in the same way you would the third line. In this example, J comes before M. Some call numbers include the date of publication as the last line. If the rest of the call number is identical, the earlier date would come first on the shelf. Remember to note the location of an item in the library catalog before trying to find it on the shelf. The same call number scheme is used in the reference collection on the main floor of the library, in the stacks on the upper and lower levels, and in the DVD and audiovisual collections.